Welcome back, everybody, to the Cube on SiliconAngle.tv. I'm Jeff Kelly with Wikibon. Uh, we're back here, of course, at Strata Conference, covering all the action. Uh, my next two guests, we've got Sanjay Marie Madaya, uh, worldwide business leader for big data at HP. Welcome. Yeah, thank you. And we're talking also with Tim Stevens, Vice President, of Business and Corporate Development at Cloudera. Thank you. Welcome, guys. Thanks for coming on the Cube. Yeah. Um, so obviously, we want to talk a little bit about uh, the relationship between HP and Cloudera, and of course, partnering is a big, uh, big part of the one of the themes really of, of the big data world. The ecosystem is very vibrant. Uh, there's a lot of different parts. Uh, involved to big data. So of course, from the hardware to the software to the services. Um, so why don't you guys start off, maybe introduce yourself, and tell us a little bit about uh, kind of the relationship. And I know this goes back a little bit of ways. Absolutely. Uh, thank you, Jeff. Uh, when you look at HP, partners are a big portion of our go-to-market strategy. Uh, we just completed our global partner conference uh, last week in Las Vegas, mm -hmm. where our CEO, Meg Whitman, highlighted the importance of partners in our go-to-market strategy. So to that extent, when you look at this new evolving data management solutions, our partners play a huge role. Uh, so when you look at big data and Hadoop, it's been it's very similar to our hyper hyperscale environment, large cluster growth. Uh, we have been selling a lot of uh, Hadoop-based solution. Our customers were using both Cloudera and HP hardware, and we have been very dominant in this market. But then we didn't have a focused effort uh, with a go-to-market strategy. And that's what we did in June of 2012, announcing partnership with Cloudera and we had reference architectures uh, in last June mm -hmm. with Cloudera, that's where we started. Uh, in September, we first had our reseller relationship where now customers, instead of going to different entities, they can place one purchase order to HP mm -hmm. and our technology services can take all the components and fulfill the needs. Mm -hmm. We followed that up with an app system, which is an integrated solution. Uh, so we've come a long way since last mm -hmm. June. Uh, Tim, so tell us a little bit about uh, Cloudera's perspective on this. So, um, you know, were you finding uh, situations where customers were coming to you and saying it would benefit us to have this kind of a, a partnership with, uh, with a, a company like HP to bring in the hardware and some of the other solutions uh, in kind of a, a, a more comprehensive offering? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we were, um, we're very pleased to see, as uh, Sanjay mentioned, uh, quite a bit of interest from customers uh, in the HP Cloudera solution. Um, and it was really driven from those customers and from those um, deployments that we had done together that we got together and started talking about how can we make this easier for the customers? How can we um, uh, help these customers who have enterprise class requirements um, make it easier to consume, deploy, and manage their uh, Cloudera Hadoop um, infrastructure? And from that, uh, we drove to, as Sanjay mentioned, a, uh, a relationship that we announced last summer. Uh, we've expanded on that relationship by having released uh, the, uh, the resale component of that in September, an app system, and we're very excited about uh, what's uh, in store for our common customers as we continue to forge uh, and deepen the relationship that we have. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we, of course, HP has uh, a numerous big data assets inside mm -hmm. the company. Um, so, delve into some of the details about the partnership and how you're bringing to bear some of those other resources uh, to complement uh, you know, what Cloudera does. Obviously, you've got Vertica, uh, a very successful MVP yep. data warehouse, data analytic database uh, that's very popular, and then of course, uh, Autonomy, which you know, has been in the news for some other reasons, but also yeah. very successful software itself, Absolutely. anyway, on, on its own right. So, how are you trying to bring those together uh, in a way that actually is, is uh, as seamless as possible for, for your joint customers? As Tim mentioned, uh, we want to provide enterprise class big data platform to our customers. So our partnership is not just at a go-to-market level, we have a very joint engineering collaboration. So we have integrated HP cluster management utility with Cloudera Manager to be able to give that holistic management capability, both from an infrastructure level as well as a Hadoop and application level. So that's one level of integration. In addition, we are having a monthly or bi-weekly engineering conversation, how we can take various assets together. Mm -hmm. So going forward, we also have Vertica, for example, on our app system. Release the HP app system for Apache Hadoop in December. It is an appliance model where you have HP hardware, Cloudera, in HP cluster management utility, and Vertica Community Edition pre-integrated with Web HDFS connectors. So customers can now bring data into Hadoop, mm -hmm. which does all the map reduce and batch oriented uh, analysis, yeah. and then move the data into more uh, 
real-time analytics using mm -hmm. Vertica. Mm -hmm. So we have done that with collaborations with uh, uh, Cloudera. Interesting, because of course, one of the big things we've been talking about all week is uh, in some of the news announcements uh, have been around bringing SQL-like capabilities yeah. to that kind of interactive queries to the Hadoop environment. So we've seen announcements from Greenplum and some and, and others. So, uh, so t talk a little bit about that. I mean, so are, are, do you have plans to even more tightly integrate Vertica into Hadoop environments? Um, and, and how does Cloudera play a role in terms of, of course you've got Impala and that kind of uh, the technology which is, has some similar goals. So how do, how do you kind of square those different, different projects in a way that really, again, I really want to focus on customers, that it really delivers on what their needs are. Yeah, you know, I, I, would, uh, I would start by sort of reminding everybody that um, the world is awash in data. Um, the amount of information created on a daily basis and available to enterprises uh, for analysis continues to grow exponentially. So there's a lot of commentary, a lot of conversation about uh, you know, data in this repository or data in that repository or analytics here, analytics there. You know, the fact of the matter is in today's environment with today's technologies, um, maybe five to 10% of the data is cost effectively, uh, can cost effectively be um, examined and looked at. Systems like Cloudera, systems like Vertica, um, and the partnership that we have with HP, now make that data, you know, that 90 to 95% of those data assets that a typical enterprise can never touch, can never examine, can never um, um, explore and mine. It makes it all available. So it, it really shouldn't be a conversation about, uh, you know, is it, is it going here, is it going there? The fact of the matter is, it's going to be available for the enterprise, and the more tightly that we couple um, our solutions together, the workloads um, and the requirements of the enterprises are going to dictate where that data goes. Absolutely. Let's go ahead, I'm sorry. Uh, just for us, uh, when you look at our HP Big Data portfolio, vertical and autonomy are uh, our key assets, mm -hmm. that is ArcSight, and a lot of uh, big data solutions, but Hadoop is an integral part of the solution. I mean, we look at Vertica with Hadoop, we sold a large cluster, more than 200 node cluster to a large bank in the US that used Vertica and Hadoop. So the tighter in integration has already been there. Mm -hmm. Now we are gradually making sure that it's easier for customers to adopt it. Mm -hmm. So we have Vertica on our appliance app system mm -hmm. that we launched in December. Uh, we already announced that we will having an app system for Vertica in March. Mm -hmm. uh, Vertica 6.1 already has Web HDFS connectors which connect to Hadoop, can directly work on data already in Hadoop, mm -hmm. or bring the data from Hadoop into Vertica, whatever the customers want to use. Uh -huh. So, kind of, uh, whatever the, whatever the uh, style of processing is processing. most... Processing, uh, depends on the use case. At right, the end of the exactly. day, it's driven by the use case. Exactly, so let's talk about a little bit about use cases. Maybe, uh, you know, always want to hear about what's going on in the, in the real world with real customers. What are some things that are happening between your, with your joint customers, some of the more innovative or interesting use cases you've seen recently? Yeah, Tim and I have given several presentations <laughs> on this. I mean, excited, we are excited about this partnership and we have solved very good problems. At the end of the day, Hadoop, the value of Hadoop is solving customer problems. Uh, so prior to this, this high performance computing was limited to a certain set of research organizations. Mm. Hadoop is bringing innovation and making this technology available to the enterprises. So to that extent, one of the popular use cases we have is again Vertica plus uh, Hadoop together, mm. where we have reduced the cost of doing that reduced it by 90%, it's a tenth of the cost of doing this initial data processing and doing uh, real-time analytics. Mm -hmm. That is becoming one of the growing uh, use cases for us. Uh, in addition, we are integrating elements of autonomy. Autonomy is a fantastic product. Uh, it's been proven for over 10 years. Mm -hmm. uh, the meaning-based computing, we are bringing that to Hadoop. QV is one component which is already integrated with Hadoop. Mm -hmm. You can program, and we'll see, I d the good thing about autonomy is that you can do the analysis where the data is. Mm -hmm. So it has over 400 connectors. So we have connectors from autonomy into Hadoop, leaving data in Hadoop, you don't have to migrate. So a lot of use cases, I'll let uh, Tim talk about a couple more. That yeah, you know, and they, and they span uh, every conceivable vertical. That's what's sort of exciting about the age in which we live, and really this next generation of capability that, uh, that you know, Cloudera uh, has innovated against, that Hadoop really represents. Um, financial services, retail, manufacturing, healthcare, um, um, online, offline, you name it, um, it all drives back to there's a multitude of data assets 
and there's a lot of value in understanding and exploring those assets. And it goes from, uh, you know, from, uh, from retailers being able to combine both offline um, in-store purchases and customer transactions with their online behaviors and transactions. It's not possible to do that today with sort of an HP Cloudera um, system, it is. Um, so we see, we see those kinds of use cases occurring over and over and over again, and frankly, it's exciting to see what the customers are coming up with, right? They're starting to figure it out, they're starting to drive um, more value in their own organizations, and it's fun to see what they come up with. So uh, going forward, what's, what, what can we expect uh, you know, over the next six months to 12, uh, 12 months, you know, if we're back here next year talking about the partnership between your two organizations, what are some of the, the, the key things you're going to be working on this year? No, we're excited about some of the announcements uh, uh, Cloudera has made, uh, backup and uh, disaster recovery. Uh, uh, we're already working on that. So for example, HP announced uh, SL4500 series, mm -hmm. which is high compute, high uh, data storage density. Mm -hmm. It's a huge TCO conversation. Mm -hmm. In one rack, you can have up to 1.2 petabytes of data. Uh, excellent, and uh, we're going to showcase that in the Cloudera Roadshow, uh, which we are jointly uh, uh, developing. We are a platform sponsor for that. Mm -hmm. So SL4500 series, you'll see more of joint uh, solutions. At the end of the day, the focus is to develop solutions so that customers can adopt it very quickly. Mm -hmm. So we'll see more on the disaster recovery. The backup is one of the huge challenges for customers in Hadoop. So you, people are thinking Absolutely. that you're going to park there, where do you go take for the backup? So SL4500 series will be one of the backup solutions integrated with BDR and you'll see more of our three power solutions with tiered storage coming into the picture and combining with our app system as the real log file analysis or the transaction processing. So uh, we, are, we have a very good joint engineering uh, discussions going on. Yeah, and if I were to amplify on that um, uh, with the announcements that we've made, the product innovations that we've released, you know, Cloudera is about making Hadoop enterprise ready. That's where we started, that was the vision of the company four plus years ago, um, that this technology that brought so much value to the online world uh, would have applicability to enterprises in general. And so everything we do, every product innovation in Pala last year with um, SQL Suite quer or queries, disaster backup recovery that we announced uh, just this week, um, Navigator, data management, data auditing that we announced this week. It's all about taking the platform and making it more enterprise ready. And so I think what you can see with uh, Cloudera and HP over the coming year is uh, a continued focus on extending expa or expanding the platform um, for enterprise class workloads, enterprise class value. Um, and that's what's exciting to see. We're going to be leveraging the best of what we both do and really driving the frontier to help customers gain value from all of their data. Excellent. Well, Sanjay Marie Madaya from HP, Tim Stevens from Cloudera, thank you guys so much for coming on theCUBE. We really appreciate it. Uh, we're going to be watching closely your partnership and uh, as you guys move forward. It's obviously a very exciting market, a lot happening. Uh, and again, thanks so much for coming on. Uh, we'll be right back with our next guest right after this. all the programs out there and identified a gap in tech news coverage. There are plenty of tech shows that provide new gadgets and talk about the latest in gaming, but those shows are just the tip of the iceberg and we're here for the deep dive. There's a difference between technology consumers and those who live the business day to day and our viewers recognize that. The market begged for our program to fill that void. We're not just touting off headlines. Our goal is to provide you with a story, but we also want to analyze the big picture and ask the questions that no one else is asking. Our guests aren't just here to provide commentary. We work with analysts who know the industry from the inside out. The tech business isn't new, but many networks treat it as if it is, and really barely scratch the surface on technology coverage. We follow the expansion of the cloud and the evolution of big data. We're covering new enterprise from startup to IPO and every move in between. So what do you think was the source of this misinformation? And so you mentioned briefly uh, there are several other... If that's the case, then why does the world need another software as a service player? I like to think of us as a companion to theCUBE. We're here every morning trying to extract the signal from the noise, 
where the cube excels in event coverage, we're working to bring that experience to you consistently every morning. We use the top stories of the day to provide you with breaking analysis so that you can forecast future trends. Uh, we're here before you even wake up. We're creating a fundamental change in news coverage, laying the foundation and setting the standard. And this is just the beginning.